question is, are stable coins and going to be a viable thing going forward? What's interesting about this company is uh, the stable coins. I mean, that's really what they're known for. Um, they do have the USDC stable coin and I guess the EURC for euros. And I was surprised about this. Um, the way they make money is it generates nearly all its revenue by earning interest on the reserves backing its stable coins, pr particularly in high yield short term government securities. In 2024, around 98% of its revenue came from that interest income. So that's how they're making money. The question is, are stable coins and going to be a viable thing going forward? And will the big banks come in and actually take market share? And, and uh, you know, I was reading something from uh, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, and, you know, he was talking about, and I think they're going to do some type of stable coin. Why? Yeah. Because they can make money from it. But he does kind of kind of poo-poo it a little bit saying, why not? I think he said, why not just do the transaction? He said, we're going to be involved in both J.P. Morgan the, deposit okay, coin and stable coins to understand it, to be good at it. I think they're real, but I don't know why you'd want to use a stable coin as opposed to just payment. I mean, the theory is stable coins should hopefully speed up that payment processing at the end of the day. But I think Diamond's like, I think we can do it faster another way. So I guess we'll see if he's right or not. But then other banks like Citigroup and Bank of America said they would also get involved in stable coins. They even talked about maybe all getting involved together like they did with Zelle. The concern is how would that impact Circle as now you're going against some big guys in the room right. to try and compete against. And I still say too, that there's a middleman of those stable coins and they take a piece of profit. So be careful there.